Hello, thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Joy News Interactive. I'm Benis Abubedu. We are live on the Joy News channel on Multi TV, also on DSTV channel 421, Go TV channel 144. You can drop your messages on the various issues we'll be discussing on our Facebook page. Our name on Facebook is Joy News on TV. Today we'll be talking about the creations, uh, the creation of additional regions in the country. We'd also have uh, your thoughts on a very unfortunate incident. Remember, I brought you some news uh, about two weeks ago about a young woman who died while dancing to the One Corner song. Well, today uh, the news is that two young men have also lost their lives. We'll be finding out from you uh, what you think should be done to curb this. Uh, but let's start off with President Akufuado because he says his government has no special interest in the four new regions yet to be created. He said the final decision regarding the creation of the new regions rests with inhabitants of those four regions identified for the project. Now, you know, a committee has been set up uh, to facilitate the creation of, of these uh, regions, but a lot of you have been sharing your thoughts with us on this uh, here on Joy News Interactive, and you did that uh, via our Facebook page and we'll be bringing your comments shortly on that particular one and um, president Kufado has has had to come out and say he has no interest because uh, apparently some uh, are suggesting that the president has some personal interest in the whole matter well he's come out to say he doesn't have any interest in it well uh, let's see what some of you are saying about this on social media and um Sadat Lari says, one Sakawa boy, one police, okay, and uh, one factory, one dam. Okay, thank you so much for your comment. And Nana Nkibuesi Ako Nicholas is asking if Ghana is bigger than China um, and says, what rapid development? Small Ghana, we are having two ministers with each, uh, each with a convoy. I'm not sure what he's trying to drive at, but you're saying that there should be a serious commission to monitor their works and if possible, sack them if they are not performing. You're talking about public servants there. Staplu G8 says, and he laughs, says Ghana is a very funny country. Even Nigeria running states and not regions because they have a large population and having states bigger than our regions are not complaining. Uh, these small regions see how our leaders are suffering. 12 replies to that. But let's move on quickly. Nelson Adjaman says, if only the people in those regions are fully in support of the view of the president, then their will must be highly respected accordingly. And that's talking about the fact that the, if these regions want to have other regions uh, called out of them. Mark Offer says, our president did not say that he'll create a new region, uh, but to uh, deduct the region? Oh, I'm not sure that's what you want to mean. Maybe you divide the region into two to make development faster. Each region will get two ministers. Okay, Kwame Sapong says, uh, you'll be going into your second year soon, referring to President Takufado. We need to hear something about it. Don't wait till three years into your first term, then you tell us you do it after 2020. If you have the political will, you'll make it happen to reflect in the next election. Also, you can also look at the legislature having two floors. This idea is to look at policies critically before they are implemented. Having two chambers will make that happen. And Kwame Sapong is not the first person suggesting this. But let's move on quickly and talk about this rather unfortunate incident, even as uh, the committee that has been set up to facilitate the creation of the regions begins work. Two people who were on a motorbike dancing to the popular One Corner team met their untimely death at Entroso, a mining town in the Asutifi North District of the Punuahafu region. Now, the accident occurred around midnight on Tuesday. That's according to a GNA report. The two were on a motorbike dancing to the tune when they reportedly collided with another person who was kidding off the road and crashed into a structure. Well, a lot of you have been sending your comments here, a lot of comments to read. Uh, ben Jack Sparrow says, Patapa created music. He didn't create any dance for it. Uh, he's not responsible for how anyone decides and he uses the word to fool about with his song. And then um, he says all these demonic pronouncements by people on his song is childish. I can't even believe someone was advocating for Patapa's arrest, says. Uh, this is just a joke. Let's see the five replies to that because some are beginning to read some uh, spiritual um, or create some spiritual understanding of what all that is happening. Mancha Kwesi says the best comment so far. And uh, Adam Ali says, yes, you've convinced me. And Isaac Mensa says, I owe you. And Selassie Doty says, uh, Ja bless. So while people try to look at the 
spiritual angle of all of this, others think, you know what, the guy is just a musician. Patapa created a song, not a dance. So if people decide to dance to his music the way they do, they should be held responsible for whatever, ha for the, for whatever happens to them as a result. Sinclair says, very good. Two gone. Um, says, who dances on top of a running motorbike? Only those willing to see God fast. He says, save Jenny. And uh, Lady Lee says there are equally worse songs in Ghana. Why are sections of the public trying to marginalize this one corner music? It's just an act of lawlessness, period. Uh, okay, okay. And uh, NSAPR Fuakwa says, if two are killed, it's their ignorance. I'm playing one corner song in my house right now. Am I dead? He asks. Leave this artist alone. Let's patronize made in Ghana goods. Uh, all right. And uh, J Jenez Opoku says, spirits are like the wind. We know not where they are from or where they are going to, but we can see the effect of the wind. So is any song. The fruit, fruit of any song determines the spiritual influence behind it, whether gospel or secular. And Joshua Excellence says, that's what happens uh, when you don't have direction to your life or fear God. How can you dance while writing, he asks. Kwame Boache Adam Jr. says, they could still die anyway, even if they were dancing to Evangelist Diana Samoa's song. If someone lacks the discretion to do the sensible thing, why do you blame it, or why do you blame the artist? Ochiman Bakweku says, nobody forced you to dance one corner. So if you do and you die in the process, you die a foolish death and it's your own cup of tea. Don't blame the artist for such stupidity, he says. But Priscilla, uh, Priscilla Delali Awunyo says, when we talk, people say we are talking big English and raining insults. Now you see the outcome? She sighs and says, too bad. Francis Goku says, okay, he's asking us for updates on something and not related to what we are discussing. Sofdiki Smith says, even this one corner song is, is to be sung at a program the vice president will be attending. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have been talking about that one as well. Uh, Biggles Defoe says, the level of witch hunting in Ghana is so tiny compared to just a particle of God's blessings on someone. Says, God bless Patafa. And Jenny Paula Hemet says, this is absolute irresponsibility and it's got nothing to do with the song. What crime has Patafa committed bringing out the song? He did not specify the exact place to be before dancing to his music. He says, gosh. And uh, a lot of comments here. And I see Anna Pansu says, a very well-planned and well-executed timely death, if you ask me. Martin Aluta says, um, this is awful. Um, interesting, I don't know. I'm sure in his mind he's trying to imagine what happened. Um, but Obino Chigozi says, that music is very demonic, but some people fail to see that. I've got eight replies. Let's just see that quickly, and then we'll move on to a next uh, topic. Gabina says, there's nothing demonic about that song. We had hit songs like this before. Alex Ankoma says, that's not about any demon. Why do we attribute everything or anything to demons? We must think and stop this demonic stuff. Akesidoka says, please stop blaming the song or the devil. Just blame their stupidity. How on earth can you dance on a moving motorbike? Robert McNaman says, it's because you are so blind and could not see. Frank says, black mentality, any bad thing that happens with his life is demonic. How can we be able to correct our mistakes and move on? And uh, Janice Booker says, spirits are like the wind comes back. Uh, this comment I've read earlier. So these were comments on an unfortunate incident that happened somewhere in the Bunuahafu region involving two men who lost their lives, reportedly dancing to Patapas one corner while riding their motorbikes. Away from that, you know, the black stylists have been doing very well. Uh, in the ongoing under 17 World Cup tournament and it's been hosted by India. Now something very interesting happened with Ghanaian fans and the India police on Wednesday confiscated musical instruments of Ghanaian supporters preventing them from using it during the Black Starlets game against Niger at the D.Y. Patil Stadium in Mumbai. The drums and trumpets were seized by the police on an explanation that it was a threat to security at the stadium drums threat to security well for well over 45 minutes the Ghanaian supporters were held up at the gate in an exchange with the police but uh, you know the police wouldn't budge i mean we've seen a lot of supporters go to 
countless number of tournaments in the world even uh, the bigger let me put it that way the world cup itself and uh, we've never encountered anything like that well we haven't heard a report of any but a lot of you have been sharing with us what you think but we won that match anyway uh, ghana niger by two goals to nail uh chris barney santiago says there are times when Accra authorities ban noise making for some reasons. Uh, Indians are celebrating their Kiwali festival. Okay, so you're giving us some other perspective to this other than what we have been told uh, that the, uh, the instruments could affect security at the stadium. Danny wrote to me says, that's very much okay. When Ghana used Black Stars players to whip India is under 17 team they must look for means to get back at ghana but india police you know do a lot so danny thinks it's because ghana scored india and uh, benjamin opong teria says reactionary securities because we trump their home team okay no more kunkumbage on adum tv <laughs> interesting tijani amadu salifu says uh okay I'm sure you're, you're asking that particular photo you're talking about we wrote file on it and so we indicated that that photo was not from the current one but if you scroll down you see more photos uh, Francis Wolanyo Pampa says that's why I want Ghanaians to stop watching okay sorry I'm not gonna read that Vanasco says this uh, these India people think uh, right okay uh, Ron Kam says just jealous we score them Ghana is coming home with the cup and uh, Augustine Akwekwesi says and um, all right okay unfortunately i cannot re-echo those sentiments but we're just taking some comments uh on something that happened when ghana met niger in the under 17 world cup currently ongoing in india and uh, well the Ghanaian fans were not allowed to take their instruments and uh, musical instruments and and other stuff into the stadium because the police claim that it would affect security there you're watching joy news interactive we'll take a quick breather when i come back i'll be telling you what our most watched online videos are and mapito cbidi will be joining me for that don't go away Thanks so much for staying here on Journeys Interactive. I'm all smiles because my Peter Sibidi just joined me. And guys, it's not deliberate what you're seeing. I, I don't know. People think we are twin sisters, but we are not. But it's not. It's not. It's deliberate. not deliberate. You know, if you guys have the same energy, yeah, and you think the same, yeah. What did they say? Great minds think alike. There we go. All right. Okay. So let's talk about the most watched videos online, my yes. for this week. Oh, so for this week, we've got uh, the Joy Business uh, Van Snail Production. So this lady is uh, farming snails. And you know that snails have like really great health benefits. Like if you put it on your face, for your skin. See, you wear makeup every day. <laughs> you get home, get some snails for you, put it on your skin. It's yeah. lovely. Sure. It's, it's, it's like lovely. Mm. So, and then it had 69,000 views. You know, we we'll try to get interactive with our people and 69,000 views. But we need more views. Yeah, we do. We, we need, need more, more views. views. So yeah. guys, just get onto our Facebook page and watch uh, this one over again. We have a couple of videos loaded there. Uh, sometimes, I know we post a lot of things, so sometimes it may be difficult to track all our videos. So just look on the left side of your Facebook when you visit our Join News page. And then you'll see uh, all the videos. This is an interesting one. And uh, what we have now, this particular one, the Joy Business Van on Snow Production is our most watched online video uh, on Facebook for this, for week. this week. And it had 60, what thousand? 69,000 views. views. Interesting. And um, 1.1 thousand reactions and 414 shares. Yes. That, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but which so video came in second? Our second one. Mm. You know, first of all, we need to admit that October Bones, they rock. Because you're an October one. <laughs> they just rock. They just rock. Not because I'm October one. They just rock. Okay. So it was Shatawali's birthday on the 17th of October. And then Mr. B Imagine Mr. President is tweeting you guys. <laughs> Are you not excited? We're excited, oh, you know. Like... Yeah, so that one had 51,000 views. Okay, interesting. So, so uh, the president said, yeah. happy birthday, Ashatawale GH. You for come visit me for Flagstaff House. Yes. All right. And, 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 you and then Ashatawale was response. like, thank you, Your Excellency. I will follow the necessary procedures and pay a visit soon. Mr. President, I hope my land cruiser will be ready. <laughs> hey, just making demands <laughs> like that. Interesting, interesting. But yeah. if you were here during the election mm. uh, period, you'd remember that. Um, 
because of his song Bahama Paper, yeah. uh, people would, used to you know identify him with, with the, the NDC. Yeah. Well, so it's just interesting that you have President Okufuadu, who is from the other side, tweeting at him during his birthday, and a lot of people were actually surprised that the president was tweeting in pigeon. In pigeon, you know, yes, yeah. But I mean, yes. it was just that something on I the mean, load. it shows the human side of the president, you mm. know, because most of the all, if you are in a top position, people are like, oh, he's a god or something yeah. like that. He's, he's human after mm. all. And a lot of people were all. commenting on that particular one yeah. uh, involving uh, the Twitter conversation between President Okufuadu and yes. Shatawale. Yeah. We'll be telling you what people have been saying about it. Uh, but Mapito, how would you feel if the president tweets that you? First of all, I need to hold my breath, <laughs> catch my breath. <laughs> You know, pinch myself, am I dreaming? Yeah. And then after that, be like, oh, Mr. President, <laughs> I'd like to come wine and dine with you. <laughs> oh, Mr. President. Oh, I would love oh, it. Oh, my Peter <laughs> Interesting. All right. So, so our last one. Mm, uh, before we go, let's just see. Let's just uh, talk about the comment uh, that people had to share mm -hmm. on, on that particular Twitter conversation between President Okufuado and Shatawale. So, Mutana Umi Musa says, uh, so this one too is news, all right, okay. All right. And uh, well, you know, it's it's Don't be sour. Yeah, people people <laughs> always want to do hard news, but it's okay. We understand. And um, someone says, you people uh, have forgotten that Nando is a Nima guy. The way I remember Mahama uh, wishing Miss Berlin if yes was nigger. Uh, a happy birthday. birthday. So yeah, somebody's just trying to say it's not too new. This is something that it happens. happens yeah. But you have something on our third video, third most watched video online. Yes, uh, you know the host of um, the AM show. AM show. See me. <laughs> it's the nerves, you know. <laughs> so Ronald went out to go eat rice, you know, outside. He, we were hosting the 17th of October, the World Eradication of Poverty Day. So she went out, he went out, and he was excited. He's like, oh, let me try some rice. And everybody watching was like, oh, we also want some rice. Yeah, and, Why does he have and, rice? And, and somebody you know? even say, hey, you have to be careful. Yeah. Because if you're not, you know, too careful, especially where he was eating from, people get like that. They're yeah. too careful. But sometimes getting food from the roadside is not that bad. It's, it's not that bad. Have you tried any? You, you, okay, for those of you who don't know, Mapito is actually originally from South Africa. So uh, have you tried, have you tried food from, from the, the roadside road in have, Ghana. I have. There's some great tilapia down the road. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> all right, guys. That's so let's all. look at that particular video where Roland uh, eats, you know, rice. You know, it just gets down to business in a shaman. Can you give me some to eat before we close Today the Today I was morning. How much would it be? Please give me some. Let me taste before. So let me have a taste of uh, a shaman rice. Um, I'm waiting. Yeah, wait, wait. Yes. So give me... Um, let's say some right. No, no, no. I'll eat it. You have a plate. Yeah, give me a plate. Let's take it's 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 the life in many of our communities. So, give me. Let's see. Um, two C maybe one C. You what? Do you how do you do it? One C D fifteen. Okay, yeah. one C D fifty pesos. You said fifteen. Yeah, okay, so so give me fifteen, and give me a little stew. Let me taste it. And um, that's how we end the show. I'm sure that we have to go back to Gifty. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Gifty is wondering, Roland did yet, but don't worry. I, I grew up in a community, yeah. Meat, meat. Do you have meat? <laughs> Roland is cool like that. Roland is cool like that. Roland Walker. So uh, that particular video was our third most watched video online. And uh, Mapito, I mean, like I mentioned, it's just interesting. That's how we roll in Ghana. And, and Ashaman is one of the busiest places yeah. in the country. Have you, have you been to Ashama? No, I haven't. I'll take you there this you weekend. Are. You love it. All right, so let's I'll take be waiting. that. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll take the comments. Paulina Nikwe says, some of this wayside food is sweet. Uh, she thinks sweeter than bigger restaurants out there. Neatly covered too. She said, you do all, Roland. You do all. Nyakwe Fria says, I know Roland very well. Yeah, he, you know, Roland actually grew up in Ashama. Is and it? Yeah, so I think Nyakwe okay. Fria... Uh, she was a classmate to your your child's sister, I'm sure you, you want to mean. Uh, no, happened. Yeah, no, not to your no. child's sister. Uh, there's something she's trying to say. Unfortunately, I'm not getting it too well. Eugenia Barker says, oh, Roland. You know, we love Roland like that. We love Roland like that. So there you have it. Um, Mapito <coughs> Savidi bringing us our most watched online videos posted on Facebook for this week. Mapito, yes. thank you very much. Thank but you you've been in Ghana for a while. Mm -hmm. Do you know Bukum Bangkum? Yes, I do. 
mm. the boxer. Ah. Yeah, but I feel like he's all talk, eh? Mm. I'm not sure, but I feel like he's all talk. He, he talks too much. He talks think? too much. You must just get inside the ring and we'll see, <laughs> you know? No, we'll see oh, in the ring. All right. Okay, yeah. so this weekend, there's yeah. a big boxing bout between Bukumbanko and Basti Samir. Yeah. Now, uh, both boxers have been you know, boasting, everybody has been saying that, no, I would win, this one says I would win. It reminds me of the Mayweather-McGregor bout. Yeah. Uh, but who are you rooting for? I know you say Bukumbanku talks a lot, but who would but you? Le let's go for Bukumbatu. Hey. Let's go for Bukum. You want Bukumbanku yeah. to win? Let's, hey. let's yeah, see. just stay safe. Yeah, let's stay safe. You know, sometimes you can talk, ne? and then you get into the, the ring, and then it's... It's a different ball It's game. a different ball game. But, okay, you want Bukumbanku to win. Yeah. Let's see what other people are saying on social media. Abode Ibrahim says, Bukumbanku is winning, hands down. If you don't know, there's no boxer in the country right now that can stand the Banku power. So as we heard, uh, Samir is already going to places for spiritual powers. But mind you, I eat your powers with hey, Shirati. Went to TV Joe Shayet, he was beaten. Bukon Banku once said, and I quote, a dead lion is more than a dog, hey. unquote. And you know Bukon Banku has a lot of quotes. Have you heard this one? A man What's is right? never careful until he wears a white shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. that's from Bukon Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he's good like yeah. that. <laughs> Max Okuja says Buko will win. At the end of the day, we are all Ghanaians and we pray for a successful match about between both boxes. By a Jeremiah Sais, it's a very difficult game on that day. But I hope Bastille Samir will carry the day after 12 round, rounds. I wish all of them well. So, my piece of me, I like to stay safe. So, I'm not going to, 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 to mention anybody's anyone. name. But hopefully on Monday when we come back, we'll see who wins that bout. Uh, but you're rooting for Pukum. I am. I am. All right. Okay. So on that note, we end this edition of Journeys Interactive. I did this with my Pito Sibidi and she brought us our most watched videos online on Facebook to be specific. So from, from us, we wish you the very best. I'll be back at midday with the news. But here's our video of the day. We leave you with it. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>